What's up Fit Fam? This is Coach Allie at Isabel Fitness and we are going to be going through a mobility series. Uh, really only thing that you need is a wall. So hopefully you guys are doing a good job of self-quarantining and you have plenty of walls to, to work with here. Um, so we're going to be doing an upper body routine and a lower body routine. These are just real quick easy things to make sure that those joints that we utilize a lot in our exercises at the box, that you guys keep those joints healthy, mobile, and keep that fluid going. Uh, a lot of you guys, if you're working at home, this is a great way to break up some of that computer time uh, to make sure that we don't get any aches and pains. So the first one, we're gonna be nice and flat against the wall as best as you can. So your lower back, your mid back, and the back of your head should be in contact with the wall. We're gonna start off with something called a wall angel. So we're gonna have our arms nice and straight at our sides, palms facing out, and we're just gonna glide along that wall up and down. We're gonna be doing 10, that's three, four, five, and again, maybe you guys don't get as high, um, but you're working your way with each repetition. So if you need to go a little bit slower, kind of hang out at the top in that stretch position and come back down. This is all at your own pace and as far as you guys can go. So we'll call it two more. And one more. Good, so we're gonna just shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna repeat those wall angels, but with the elbows bent. So we're gonna start off here, which might feel like a big stretch for some of us, trying to get the back of our hands to the wall. So if it is, then just keep going with the arms straight. For those of you who can assume this position, go ahead and try and keep the back of your hands in contact with the wall. So we're gonna start with our elbows, down towards our pockets, and then we're reaching up as high as our shoulders allow while keeping contact with the wall as best as we can. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Shake it out a little bit, and we're still up against the wall. So again, make sure that your back and the back of your head are in contact with the wall as best as you can. We're going to bring our arms just the back of our upper arm against the wall. And now we're going to rotate at the shoulder joint. So we're gonna try and bring the hands back towards the wall, back to middle, back towards the wall, back to middle. So we're gonna do eight more repetitions of that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, shoulders getting a little tired. We're gonna go back into that position. Now it's a little bit tougher. We're gonna try and bring our hands, palms down towards the wall. Now most of us are not gonna be able to touch the wall, so just go as you feel comfortable. Again, making sure our shoulder blades don't dump forward and we lose contact with the wall. So we wanna keep those shoulder blades up against the wall and just go as far as your body allows. Maybe you go a little bit further with each repetition, but we're definitely not forcing anything. We'll say we have five more. Six seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, a little shake out. Now we're going to test your coordination a little bit. So we're back in that position, arms up against the wall. 
We're going to drive one arm up, one hand down. And we're going to flip. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. I'm going to show my backside to you guys because now we're going to be facing the wall, but I'm just going to demonstrate the motion, okay? So we have our forearms, pinky side up against the wall. We're going to slide our arms overhead against the wall, bringing that head towards the wall as well, okay? So it's going to be this kind of motion, but up against the wall. All right, so I'm gonna show you my, my tushy for a second. So we got forearms on the wall, pinky side. Start off at about shoulder, maybe a little bit lower. We're gonna slide up and drive that chest forward. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So for some of you guys, just getting that stretch was enough of a mobility workout, so you're gonna stick with that. For those of you who can get in that overhead position relatively easy, we're gonna spice it up a little bit. So now we're going to slide up, pull the arms away, back on the wall and down. Up, away, down, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have two more stretches against the wall. One is going to be for the front of the arm. A lot of us have complaints of some biceps discomfort sometimes, so we wanna make sure those shoulders stay nice and loose in this time away from the box. So we're gonna have one arm, palm against the wall, and you're gonna try and keep your whole arm in contact with the wall. Then we're going to turn our body away until we feel a stretch in that front of the shoulder. Once we feel a stretch, we're gonna hang out here for 10 to 20 seconds. Just really focus on your breath. As you hold the stretch, maybe you rotate a little bit more. Again, just try not to lose contact with the wall. And then you're gonna rotate back in. If you wanna try it with the elbow bent, you absolutely can. It's just gonna shorten your range of motion. Still focusing on the stretch in the front of the shoulder. and then rotate back to the wall, and we'll do one more. If you guys have a lacrosse ball or something at home, this is a good one where you can kind of dig into that front of the shoulder as well. Uh, but for now, everything's just body weight, stretching. All you need is a wall. Okay, we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Everything nice and close to the wall. And then we slowly rotate our body away until we feel a gentle stretch in front of the shoulder. And again, we're not forcing any range of motion. We're not cranking on anything. We're just going as far as our body allows. And with time, you can inch a little bit further. Okay, again, if you wanna repeat with the elbow bent, just rotate your body away from the wall. And we'll do one more. 
Just a good old stretch. Good. Our last part of the upper body mobility routine with the wall is going to be for stretching the back of the shoulder. Really important that the wall is blocking the shoulder blade. So when we stretch our arm across our chest, if our shoulder blade is what's responsible for that movement, you're not gonna get a stretch where we want you to feel it. So we want that wall to block that shoulder blade. So you can even help by pinching those shoulder blades back, put good pressure against the wall, this way that shoulder blade doesn't move, and then we bring just the arm across the chest with a little help from the opposite arm. Okay, it shouldn't feel like any kind of big stretch. Shouldn't feel like any kind of pinch in the front of the shoulder. Just real gentle mobility, holding for about 10 seconds. And we're gonna do three times on each side. So this is our second time. And then we got one more. Again, do your best to keep that shoulder blade down and back. Good. We're gonna repeat on the other side. Again, keep that shoulder blade back. Pull across the chest as far as you feel comfortable or as far as your body allows. Just a couple of deep breaths. And we got two more. And we'll do one more. Good. So upper body, upper body part of this mobility segment is done. We want our shoulders especially mobile because of the demands that we have in our snatches and our cleans and our front rack position, all that good stuff. So all you need is a wall and hopefully those shoulder joints are feeling pretty loose right now. We're gonna do a couple of exercises for the lower body. Um, I'm gonna show you against the pole here, but again, I'll be facing the wall, showing you the rest of them. So this one's for the arch of the foot and the back of the lower leg, the calf muscle. So you're gonna try and reach those toes up against the wall as high as you can, keeping that leg straight, and then you're gonna lean forward into the wall. Okay, you should feel a good stretch Again, in that calf muscle, maybe in the arch of the foot a little bit. And then you're just gonna hold it for 10 to 20 seconds. We're gonna do three on each side. So that's just showing you against the pole. Again, I'm gonna show you my tushy and we're gonna stretch it out together. So again, we're stretching just the leg that's on the wall. The back leg is just your support leg so you don't have to worry too much about what that one's doing. And then you're just gonna lean towards the wall as far as you can till you feel a good stretch. And then you're gonna ease out of it. Back onto the wall, those toes as high as you can against the wall. And then you lean forward, trying to drive that hip forward. If my hip stays back, I'm still not gonna get as good of a stretch. Drive that hip forward. And then shake it out. And we got one more. Good. We're gonna switch sides, same thing. Toes as high on the wall as we can. Knee nice and straight. Gentle lean forward towards the wall till we feel a good stretch. Hold it for a couple of deep breaths. About 10 to 20 seconds. We'll shake it out and we got one more. Good. For the rest of these, we're gonna be sitting nice and close to the wall. So you're gonna scoot your butt up as far as you can to get your legs supported on the wall. What we're gonna start off with are just foot slides. So you're just gonna slide your foot down, keeping that foot flat. So you should feel like your ankle or your knee 
bend as far as they can, almost like if you were in a deep squat. So we're just gonna slide down. Each leg we're gonna do about 10 times. Just slow and controlled, going as far as you can in the down position, trying to come all the way up, good stretch at the top. We'll do four more. And two more. Good. Now we're gonna switch sides. Again, try and get that foot flat. Driving that heel towards your tush. Bending that ankle and that knee as much as your body allows. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna scooch our butt a little bit further if we can. And we're gonna have our feet about shoulder width apart, and we're trying to flex those hips as much as we can. We're gonna start off with just rocking our knee in and out, trying to keep our foot flat. So we don't wanna roll our ankle. We wanna keep that foot stationary and just bring our knee in, bring our knee out. Again, you're just going as far as your body allows. We're gonna do just five on each side. So we'll call that three, four, and five. And then other side, drive that knee in and out. Keeping that foot flat. Two, three, four, and five. Next, we're gonna cross one leg over the other. You wanna make sure that your back is flat. So if all of a sudden your butt comes up in the air, it's not gonna be as effective. So just scoot yourself away from the wall so that your lower back is relatively flat. And then we're just gonna push our knee towards the wall. Okay, you should feel a good stretch in that tush and hip area. Going to hold it for about 10 seconds or three nice deep breaths. And again, we're not cranking on it. We're just going as far until we get that stretch sensation. And then maybe with our next repetition, we go a little bit further. We're gonna do one more of about 10 seconds. Good, and we're gonna switch sides. So again, your ankle's gonna be resting at your knee. If you need to, shimmy away from the wall. And then we're just pushing that knee down. Take a little rest. Back in it. Again, just try and control your breathing ease into more range of motion. And you can relax and do one more. Good. Last one's my favorite. We're gonna scooch that butt nice and close to the wall. Get those legs as straight as you can and just chill out. You can pump those ankles back and forth you should feel a good stretch in the back of the legs, maybe a little bit in the back of the calves when we bring those toes up, but really just a good hamstring stretch for those of you who have some tightness in that muscle group. So at this point, I've been able to shimmy my butt all the way to the wall. Really focus on driving those knees straight, bringing those toes up just to spice it up. But you can hang out here for a minute, five minutes, it just feels good. So we'll just do a couple deep breaths here.
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up now. All righty, so this was your mobility series utilizing a wall and just a wall. I know you guys should have at least access to four walls. Um, so there's no excuse for not doing this routine whenever, whenever you're feeling tight. Um, I would recommend this whenever you possibly can, especially for those of you who are working from home, doing a lot of sitting and a lot of computer work. All right, with all that said, see ya.